Hello guys and welcome back to this video. Today we are going to be making a portfolio application using V0 and ShadCN. Uh, we're going to be using Next.js and CSS Tailwind. Um, so hope you enjoy. Uh, we're going to be using AI for everything because there's no reason to code anymore suddenly. Um, so I'm going to show you how I would create a personal portfolio if I have to create it today. So first of all, I have installed a clean Next.js application. Uh, I did this by doing this ShadCN, which I go to ShadCN.com. I go to Docs, I click Installation, I click Next.js. You can choose whatever library you want, but we use Next.js this time as the framework. And then I simply just copy this, put it in here. I just say yes to everything and now we should have ShadCN as an application running. Uh, you might start in this folder, then you have to CD into my app or whatever you called your application. So let's get right into it. Uh, here we have our app. Inside of our app we have our main layout and our page. What we can do is just npm run dev to start the development server. We can go to the browser and as you can see here we have the local host 3000 running. So far so good. I think everything in here we can just delete. We don't need it. Inside of page and then we can just put a blank dev. So now we have nothing. Perfect. Let's see if they put any CSS. They did. We don't mind that for now. And the layout is also pretty clean. Perfect. So what we actually want to do today is try to create a portfolio just very, very easy using V0, um, which is a new AI for web development. It uses Next.js as a default, and then they use Tailwind and ChatCN component for the different components. So what we're going to do is we're just going to prompt it something like, hey there, I want to create a modern looking portfolio. I already have installed the application using ShadCN. If you didn't do this, you can just tell it to also include the, the installation and then I, I'm pretty sure it will do it. <coughs> I want just a simple one pager where I display some of my work and also make it look super modern and simple. Uh, it should catch the eye of, of any one that that enters the page. Um, I think this is actually fine. We don't really need much. So let's just try to do this and let's see what it does. Um, Shetian, I think it uses the uh, ChatGPT API and then it just compiles it down to actually providing code so we can just like give it prompts and then it will actually create all the stuff for, for us. Let's see here. As you see it also provides a preview so it's really really smart for new persons to actually understand the code. As you see here it just provides everything for me and then it just does the page. So let's see what it comes up with. It says here, it create a modern layout, blah, 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 dark colors. We should, for me, this actually looks pretty good. It's really, really simple. So let's just copy this code, go back to our Visual Studio code. Um, I think we just use this page and then just put everything in here. And let's see what it does. I should install frame of motion, I see. So I open a new terminal, I say npm i and then frame of motion. I can close this again, let's see what it does now. We can go into the application. Let's try to refresh. I also need to install the button, so we go to ChatCN we find the button it's here and then we can just copy this 
and put it into our terminal. We also need to include the card IC, so we can just take this. What it does when we when we do this from ShedCN, it takes in the component and puts it into our own library. So ShedCN actually lets us have components that we can modify as we want inside of our own code. And that's just like a game changer for whatever other component libraries there is out there. I think we also need to install this Lucide React. So we say npmi Lucide React. Perfect. And now I think we should be able to run this. Let's see. Perfect. So now, I know we don't have any images. I didn't have any. Now we have created a portfolio in less than, what have been five minutes. I know it's not super perfect. You can create pages underneath. There's something wrong up here, but I mean, we can just tell it to Please fix the navigation bar making left icons black. It's really hard to see them. Also provide some images to fill in the blanks for now. And if possible, make it look more futuristic futuristic and modern overall. Let's see what it does here. As he's trying to get the placeholder. Uh, yeah, it's because I don't have the image. But you should have, you can just put your images in here and then it will take the index. It's pretty simple. Oh, there's the old one. There's the new one. Let's see. It's a bit slow right now, but that's okay. Um, I usually use V0 when I'm creating pages um, for, I don't have any customers right now, but if I have any customers and then they want to create like a simple page for a gardener or something. Then we use V0 just to create the basics so we don't have to fill in all these pages. Um, it's just good for overall simple pages. You you don't really use it to create like, um, what can you say, like modern web apps for huge backend and stuff. I know, I mean, it can set it up. I know you can also make it do like authentication for login and stuff like that. but. For now, it's pretty, pretty, really, really good just to get started with chat CN or something. If you're learning to code, then you should probably just try to use it. I don't know what happened here, but something went wrong. We can just retry and see what's happening. And that, of course, can happen sometimes. You see the um, these changes, so it just goes up and down because we made it a one pager. So let's see what it does this time. I hope it's better. But you guys should really check out ShedCN. It's fucking awesome for everything. Um, it just makes web development so much easier when you already have the components and you don't have to, to create them yourself. I don't know what happened here, but it's really slow. Let's just try to take this code. Just put it in here and see what happens. Oh. Okay. Now something went wrong again. Perfect. Let's see it now. Well, yeah, this looks just way better and it's really, really cool. Then of course you can do like external links and put different pages if you want, but just, just keep in mind how fast I did this. There's not been 10 minutes yet and we already have a like simple, good looking portfolio website with good components and overall just 
correct use of code <coughs> of course you have to put in like um, meta descriptions and stuff like that but you can do that afterwards it's not really a big big work so yeah I think um, that's pretty much it for this video uh, thank you so much guys for checking it out um, I will keep posting a lot of different videos in the future uh, I just have to get started with the channel again and then um, yeah thank you please uh, subscribe and let me know if you have any questions or if you have any coding ideas then I will probably do them I don't really mind anything I also did like uh, gambling websites and I did an Airbnb clone and stuff like that without um, using AI so yeah thank you